This is the time of year when we're looking back and reflecting on last year's hunting season. With the successes and the failures still fresh on our minds, I can't help but look back further and think of what has changed just over the course of my life. I remember even as a kid, 15, 20 years ago, people used to go into the timber and cut their own firewood. Looking back, it seems deer bedding quality wasn't something people thought about as much back then. But now, almost no one's going into those pockets anymore. The forest floor, which used to get sunlight, is blocked by a canopy of leaves, leaving it almost bare. Things that used to be the norm are now non-existent. We were ordered by God to be caretakers of the land. Each of us have a set amount of time here on Earth, and it's our duty to move the needle back in the right direction. We've let it go, and now it's time to get it back. So we're rolling through winter. It's the month of February. Um, you know, we're, we're rolling up on shed season, spring food plot planting time, but February is a really, really great month to, to get your chainsaw and go to the woods and, and really improve the timber side of the plant on your farm. Uh, whether you got a small piece, a large piece, um, you know, in my area, we have more rolling creek bottoms. Uh, we don't have big, big areas of timber. Um, so. You know, the, the key is, guys, guys use chainsaws almost too much, it seems like. You know, and guys just go in, they cut, and they cut, and they cut, but you really shouldn't cut without a plan. Um, have a reason for everything you cut, uh, whether, it, you know, you're hinging a tree over, you're clear cutting, maybe you've got too many of one species, uh, maybe something's invasive, you know, that's something to, to definitely look at. Um, so, you know, we're gonna go over three things that, uh, in this, this video to really try to help you guys. Um, manage the timber side of your farm and uh, yeah it's gonna be good. <laughs> yeah! Oh. It's all good. Okay let's get to work. Okay guys so this is uh, this step that we're about to do um, is more of a transition and turning you, uh, manipulating the hardwoods to benefit you in terms of a hunting scenario. I'm gonna have a stand in this tree back up behind me over there. So the problem is is that this this low area here has really grown up super heavy and uh, small trees and briars and it's just super super thick and the deer are having trouble getting through it. They used to have they used to travel through here quite frequently uh, but now they're having to cut up and around and behind. I don't want them to do that. I want them to come down in front of me. Uh, so I'm gonna take this uh, beautiful apparatus. It's just awesome, <laughs> chainsaw blade. And I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna widen this out. I'm gonna, you'll hear people talk about a feathered edge and that's what I'm going for. I'm, I'm going for uh, the main travel route and then slope it back up on either side. I don't wanna get rid of everything. I just want them to have a nice, clean area uh, where they can quickly get through, maneuver through. Um, the nice thing about this is this is on the bottom side of a slope, so they're more concealed down here, so naturally deer are gonna wanna come down here. Uh, so we're just really enhancing what's already here um, and what they wanna do. We're just trying to take it to the next level. So uh, whoever invented the chainsaw blade to be put on the end of a weed eater, I love you. Ooh, I got a plan. Need to put it into motion Gonna cut to the chase It could be bigger than the ocean And if it were smart And we are who we say we are Then it shouldn't be hard No, it shouldn't be
Make sure when you guys are doing all this that everything is strategic. Um, you know, you're just not aimlessly cutting. Although sometimes it can be a lot of fun to do that. But uh, I'm cutting this back here and I'm, I'm making this back wall. Uh, to, to, a deer can still go through there if they want to, but um, you know, it, they're gonna go the path of least resistance almost all the time. So that's gonna lead them straight through here. There's a nice creek crossing back off to my left. It's gonna make about a 18 yard shot to my stand. Um, so yeah, it's just doing little things that make them do what you want them to do. Okay, so I think this spot right here is gonna be probably the best one to show the woody brows. Um, okay, so uh, this is a, a hackberry tree that I hinged over about two weeks ago. Um, I don't use much hinging on my property just because I don't have a whole lot of timber, uh, but the main purpose here was there's, there's this kind of contiguous length here. Uh, and I wanted to block this view. I wanted to break it up. Um, so, so I hinged these two trees over uh, and, and it's kind of twofold. You know, it's, we got a lot of snow on the ground. It's really cold out. It's, it was like minus two this morning when I woke up and deer are really coming along. Their tracks are showing it uh, coming up to these trees and they're, they're snipping off the ends of all these little branches and twigs, uh, the woody brows. And that's, that's if you spend, spend a lot of time in the woods, uh, you know, just observing deer. That's what they're eating on primarily. You know, they're, they're snipping a snip here and a bite there. Uh, they're kind of very delicate eaters, uh, for lack of better terms. They're very particular about what they eat. Um, and uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat to see, uh, you know, kind of, kind of one thing achieving more than one goal. So next, I, I want to take you guys over and kind of show you that really the next step of, of our timber plan, um, and that is really boosting inside timber, your bedding areas, um, and allowing the sunlight in to hit the, hit the forest floor to really get those forbs to come up. So this is the third thing we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about opening up the canopy. Uh, we're on this, this, this dry creek bed here, is on, runs around on either side of me. We're kind of on this small uh, peninsula here. A um, couple trees behind me are these, exa these exact ones are sycamore trees. Uh, I've got a ton of them on this farm. Um, I'm gonna knock out these just select ones because they are completely blocking the forest or the, the sunlight entering the forest floor. What that's gonna do is that's gonna allow uh, shrubs, uh, woody brows, the grasses to come back up because they don't have any chance right now with zero sunlight or little to no sunlight hitting this exact spot. Um, so we're gonna open up this canopy. We're gonna allow that sunlight to come down. I'm gonna complete, I'm gonna clear cut these trees. I'm not gonna hinge them. I want these trees gone. Uh, I don't want any more competition than what's already here for uh, the forbs and the grasses. They're gonna be coming up and uh, it's, it's gonna be awesome. Let's get to cutting. Okay guys, so a couple of these trees, um, we knocked some down. There's a couple that are standing absolutely perfect and just because of the lay of the land and the ground is slick because of the ice and the snow, I'm just going to ring these trees and treat them with Tordon RTU. RTU stands for ready to use. I'm totally serious. Um, so it's going to have the same effect. I'm just going to cut the outside inch or two of the tree all the way around, Tordon around the outside ring and that will kill the tree. So it'll, it'll give the same effect. The tree will remain standing uh, for a long time. This is on a very secluded area of our property. This is not an area of traffic um, where people go. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut, bring a couple more and we're gonna call it good. Nothing in this video is groundbreaking or, or you know a new trick or 
something that's like a fix-all. It's, it's, it's pieces that really fit together into our whole management system uh, of building whitetails. You know, it's, it's all building blocks. Um, and we need to maintain, uh, we need to look at every angle possible to create quality bedding, quality forage, and quality hunting opportunities for years to come.